car I'm interested in is a 1974 Dodge Charger that ran at Daytona a long time ago. It's one of our, what we call time capsule cars. It's a car that has not been touched. It's in the same condition. It was raced almost 40 years ago. Hello, Marvin. Hello, Mr. Ray. Got your Dodge hat on? I got, oh, yeah. I, I always got a Dodge hat on. Yeah. How are you? It's good to meet you. Yeah, same here. Appreciate your hospitality. Here. Got a nice place here. There she is. This wow. is it. About as vintage as you can get. And you said you bought it off of Jim himself 20 years ago? Yeah. 20 some years ago? Yeah. Jim Vandiver drove this car as an independent on the NASCAR circuit. It's unique because it hasn't been touched. It's in the same condition as when it raced in the 1970s at a time when Ford and Chrysler battled it out on the racetrack. Under the hood sits the iconic Hemi engine that gave Jim the power to race with his peers. I got a lot of memories of that car. I ran with Petty Pearson, Waldrop, a little bit with Earnhardt, so that's the area I ran in. Sometimes back then, most independents, especially some of them just had one car. We had two cars, but we ended up running that one more than the other one. So I, I had a lot of good experiences with that race car. It was a great race car. Well, you know, this has got that 4,500 on it, but underneath it, it's got that aluminum uh, restrictor. It's yeah. smaller than the bores of the carburetor. Yeah, they used to make them run a restrictor on the Hemi, right? It does have a restrictor on yep. it. Got ignition up. Yeah, and then hit the starter. Ready? I'm ready. Sounds good. Race car's supposed to be noisy. <laughs> I built this engine, it's been 20 some year ago uh -huh. when I done this. Right. And I can't remember now where I put a short track cam in or a long track cam. I only had, Racer Brown made the cams. Right. But they only had two cams, one long track and one short track. Is all that, uh, that was available. And were you gonna race the car yourself? Is that what oh, you were gonna do with it? I, I don't even know why I bought it. Uh huh. I already have the Puro car, so why is getting this car so important? Well, these two cars represent the end of an era when race car suspension was different based on the brand of manufacturer. The Chrysler cars used a torsion bar front suspension with leaf springs at the rear. This was a pretty standard setup for Chrysler cars of the 1970s. The Fords, however, used a coil spring and front strut suspension. This was based on a 1960s full-size Ford passenger car. However, at the rear, the Fords used a coil spring and rear trail arm suspension that was actually designed for Chevy trucks. Something else I love about these two cars, the Trix. And see where they run the weather strip? Yeah. They, they didn't run it down here. They run it out here at the outer edge. You know, I got in trouble one time. They used to do all that stuff. And I found out that by letting the air out the back, you made the car go a lot faster. NASCAR didn't like that. Find me $50,000. <laughs>